Hello everyone. This video is going to be a very eye-opening video for you and it will make you more aware actually about your gait preparation. And I will start this video with a very eccentric example. Suppose you want to reach from place A to place B in any unknown city, a city that you are not much aware of. There you want to reach from place A to place B uh, in a definite time. So what would you prefer? Would you prefer using an atlas map or would you prefer using a GPS map? Atlas map is just showing you different roads and streets in that city. It's not telling you where, where you are, when you need to turn in which direction, which streets are busy. It's not telling you anything. It's just a map. It has everything. Though it has everything, every data required you know, uh, to navigate from one place to other. But it is not telling you exactly when to turn, where, which path to take in order to save time and all. Okay. So you may be able to reach from place A to place B, but without all these data, you will have to, you know, waste some time asking people. Sometimes people will misguide you. Sometimes they will say you that it's just about two minutes from here and you will keep on walking. It won't be, you won't be able to reach there. Right. Well, all I mean to say is that it is possible to move from place one to place B using Atlas map, but it is time consuming and effort consuming and you may end up reaching somewhere else. It is also a possibility. You may not be able to reach where you want to reach in that time, right? But if you have a GPS map, it will not only give you the overall view of streets and uh, roads, but it will exactly tell you that which path to take, which turn to take, what are the roads that you should avoid due to traffic jam? And what are the things around you that you should be aware of, right? All these things will be present here. Now, why I'm giving this example in a video of uh, gait preparation? Because your preparation of gait is more like choosing one of these modes. Either you can choose to go with Atlas map or you can choose to go with GPS map. Now, it is possible to reach from point A to point B using both of them. But the first one, the atlas map is going to be more time consuming as I told you, more time consuming, more confusing and you may end up taking a lot of time. You may end up giving 2-3 attempts in order to reach in gate where you want to reach. But GPS map is going to exactly take you where you want to be in just you know the right time without wasting your time here and there. This is exactly what students need and what is it? This is nothing but this GPS map, the facilities that you are ex getting extra in GPS map is nothing but you can write them as a guidance, personal attention and third I call it as doubt support. When you are preparing for any competitive exam like gate where syllabus is vast, you need someone to guide you that look this is the month of uh, June, this is the month of July, let's say, and in this month, you should follow this strategy, you should avoid doing these things, you should focus on these things. Similarly, if the month changes, time changes, according to the time, someone who has done that and who, you know, is quite aware of what to do, what not to do, should guide them properly for that month, right? And what should be the best strategy for that time frame, for that particular time. Similarly, he should be knowing that what exactly is your status, what exactly is your problem, which I have written here as personal attention. Right? He should be aware of that what are the things that you are lacking in, what are the things that you need to improve in order to reach where you want to reach. And third is doubt support, technical doubts I am saying it. Wherever you get stuck, just like in the uh, in the situation of city when you wanted to move from place A to place B, where you were, uh, wherever you get stuck, the GPS shows you that this turn you need to make, this is how you can get out of it, right? I call, I, uh, you know, compare that with the doubt solving in a way, technical doubt solving, that whatever question you are solving anywhere, if you get stuck somewhere, right, someone should be able to take you out of that situation. Someone should be able to tell you that this is how you can solve it. It will make you understand the concept very easily. So if you are preparing for gate from any of the sources, I am uh, not referring to any particular source. Maybe you are self-preparing and referring to different YouTube videos as a mentorship. Maybe you are uh, 
uh, enroll in some uh, video program, online video program, or maybe you are enrolled in a classroom program, whatever, whatever be your mode. Are you having someone to guide you properly? Who is giving you the right guidance? Are you having someone who is personally looking at your progress and telling you your weaknesses, your strengths? And do you have someone who is solving unlimited doubt of yours? He is not saying that only this much doubts I can entertain or only half an hour I have or only one hour I have. Ask whatever you can ask only in that time. So do you have someone who is giving you all these support features? If you do not have then it is going to be a uh, somewhat time consuming or maybe difficult journey for you and to be very honest majority of aspirants do not have this feature do not have such support with them right and they are not even aware of it they are not even aware of it that they need it because majority of the classroom programs that you see they do not focus you know on providing these support to the aspirant what aspirants think is that in the classroom program faculty will be in front of me I will be able to talk to him they think that so he will be guiding me throughout my journey he will be solving my whatever doubts I face and he will be knowing me inside out he will be giving me personal attention and things like that but this does not happen in classroom programs especially if you look at the classroom programs who are having batch sizes of 300 400 students just forget about 300 400 students just focus on any classroom size of 100 students maybe any uh, local coaching that you will be having in having in your city will also be having around 70 80 uh, 100 students in that batch okay so just let's talk about that only just forget about the batches of 400 500 students that are there in some coaching in a batch of 100 students even if 33 percent students one third of the students let's say 33 students ask their doubts after the class just for five minutes every student is asking some of the doubt that he got he had studied for five six hours some doubt must be there in his mind at least five minutes he will take to clarify that or maybe some of the question that he had solved yesterday he want to discuss that so any sincere aspirant will be having doubt of at least five minutes so let's assume that out of the class of 100 students only 33 students are having doubt and each of them is having is asking doubts for five minutes that will be if you do the math so that will be close to three hours that time will be close to three hours now does it happen in any classroom if you are enrolled in any classroom or if you know someone who goes to a classroom ask him it never happens doubt solving after the class is never going to reach three hours and i'm just talking of the case when only 33 students are discussing their doubt for five minutes what about the cases when batch size is 400, 500? It's impossible. It is not possible for faculty to give personal attention to the students, to tell them what is the point where they are lacking, to solve their unlimited technical doubts. It is practically not possible. So over time, what happens? Students just do not focus on that. Right? They overlook this. They do not focus on what their doubts are and getting the right answer to their doubts. And they ask from any random person, any of the friend that they have and their weakness stays as their weakness. As a result of this, they are not able to convert their weakness into their knowledge, into their strength. Their weakness stays at their, as their weakness. Whatever they do, whatever they improve, they do it on their own. So as a result of that, you will see that only good students, you know, who are genuinely good, who are going to get ranks, even if they did not uh, go to that classroom only the students get ranked and the somewhat uh, you know students below that somewhat average or uh, students below the uh, talented students they just stay where they are they, they they get stuck in the slab of that 65 70 75 marks they are not able to cross that what is the reason for that because personally they don't know where they are lacking right so you need a tool which is able to guide you in the right direction which is able to give you personal attention that this is where you are lacking in this question you did not understood this you need to work on this concept and obviously solve unlimited doubt of yours and unlimited technical doubt of yours so all these things are definitely needed to students one more thing i want to i wanted to share actually i missed that that one of the uh, misconceptions that students have regarding the classroom programs is 
that they think that they are always able to access the faculty and talk to him. But do you know that once the subject is over, the faculty will not be there. He will be, you know, moving to maybe some other city, into some other center of that institute. Or maybe he will be busy with some other batch. So it's not like that the faculty is all the time available to you and to answer any of your technical questions. It is not like that. It does not work like that. It is practically not feasible to entertain thousands of students. You know, a, a single faculty is going to deal with thousands, to, thousands of students and answer each of uh, their technical doubt and give them personal mentorship. And that is why students are stuck where they are. They are not reaching their maximum. They are not crossing the barrier of that 65, 70, 75 marks in gate. So what is the solution of this? From the day one, I have been very, very concerned about this issue, about the issue of giving personal attention to the students and doubt solving to the students. So there is a solution for this. So let's talk about that. So Exergic solves this problem of aspirants successfully by a feature which we call as premium group. Now this is an online private community where students can ask unlimited doubts and I answer them personally. We answer every doubt that they ask. They can get direct attention from me. We look at their doubts. We guide them according to what mistakes they are making. I guide them depending upon which month we are in. Suppose we are in May. So in, in this month, if you are targeting a 2020, so this should be your strategy. These are the things that you should avoid in this direction. You should move. So things like that I share with them. I look at their uh, you know, personal issues. If they, they are in a job or they are in a college, what are the problems they, that they specifically are facing? And what is the solution of that, that I tell them. I share with them different tips and I also try to motivate them for gate. So these all features are available which are needed for any sincere gate aspirant. All these features are available in the premium group. If I elaborate that a little bit, then in the doubt solving part, you can ask unlimited doubts, not necessarily from our courses, but from any of the courses you are enrolled in, let's say in some other classroom you are enrolled or other test series you are enrolled. You can ask questions from there also and we will answer that. Okay. Last year means for gate 2019, all India rank 12 and all India rank 16 means Himanshu, Ranjan, all India rank 12 and Kishore Kashyap, all India rank 16 were very active in premium group. They were the uh, students of Exergic and they thoroughly used this group for their best and to get such good ranks okay so doubt solving part is obviously there premium webinars are conducted by me in that group so in premium webinar you can ask me as i told you any of the specific question that you have according to your scenario whether you are in college job or you are full time preparing whatever is your condition you can directly ask me question and i will answer that live in addition to, to that as i told you i will also guide you for that month for a particular gate that you want to crack okay I weekly share some tips there. These are not some random tips. These are effective tips which are tried and tested and are very useful for that particular time. So those are also shared. And also, as I told you, I try to motivate them by sharing some of the different sources, some of the stories and some of the ideas and all. Okay. So there are a certain questions that we constantly get from you regarding premium group. So let me answer that here. What exactly is a premium group? So premium group is a secret Facebook group. Why secret? Secret is not some term that I have used here. Secret is a type of Facebook group which you cannot search. If you go on the Facebook and you write Exergic premium group and all, you won't be able to find that group. Only the admin can add someone to that group. So this is why it is called a secret group. How much time does it take to solve your doubts? Generally, it will be solved within minutes. If we are available at that time, within seconds it will be solved. Or if we are not available at that time, then within few hours it will be done. In very rare scenario, it will cross 24 hours. Okay. Earlier, last year, it used to take some time. But this year, we have completely restructured our doubt solving process at our end. So now it does not take more than few minutes or at max few hours to get your doubt resolved. Now, what do we say uh, to the means? How do we explain the doubts? Do we just give short replies of one or two line or do we explain that to you? If that's your question, then we go on, you know, we explain the doubt in uh, whatever is the best way possible for us to explain. If we think that we can explain that by example, we'll use example. 
if we think that a diagram will help you a diagram will be shown to you if we think that a long answer ranging from you know uh, 10 to 15 20 sentences will help you then we write that much answer that much explanation to make sure that you get the concept right so we do not you know just believe in writing a few words and just moving ahead uh, with your doubt we genuinely want you to understand that question and we want you not to have doubt in those concepts so whatever we can do we do that do we answer cross questions also yes if we explained you something and you ask us a cross question right that why not this why in your explanation you have not used that concept so that answer we also give it's not like that you posted a question and we'll just answer that and then we'll move on we cross uh, we also answer your cross questions there okay so who can access this group this is also a question that i frequently get look this group is exclusively for those students who are learning from us right who are uh, students of ours in a way that we are teaching them those of you who are enrolled in video course and study material or the learn combo those members can access those members are a part of premium group we want to add the students of test series and question mag also but you can understand that it will if the group size is so large that I am not able to personally look at these students and personally look at their doubts then what is the point of it what is the point of everything that I told you that personal attention is important right that is why only study material video course and learn combo students are a member of the premium group to make sure that the quality of doubts solving and the amount of personal attention that I give to students is sufficient for the students okay if you have any further question regarding the premium group you can definitely ask that in the comment section or you can mail at support at the rate exergic.in also if you have any doubt regarding that and uh, all I wanted to share in the end is that whatever you know whatever work we do at exergic we have a very clear intention a very clear vision and mission in our mind to provide not only the good content not only the best content but also the best support after that we do not believe in just merely uh, getting you enrolled in a course and then forgetting you that's not how we uh, work that's clearly not our intention at all okay so i wish you all the best for your gate preparation see you soon